Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Sarah, the branch manager at Sharpsburg Community Library, and this is the next Library Bite. Today, we're going to talk about language acquisition or language learning for young children. Yes, that's French they're speaking. And no, these children aren't French. They're American. And they've acquired their amazing new language skills from Muzzy. So if you were of an age where you grew up in the 80s or 90s, you probably remember seeing that commercial a lot of times on Nickelodeon. I can remember being a kid wanting Muzzy very desperately, but there's a better way. You can learn multiple languages free with your library card. I'm gonna show you Little Pim, which is geared toward toddlers through early elementary. So there are two ways to access Little Pim. I'm gonna show you both ways. If you go to the Cooper Siegel Community Library page, you're gonna to go to Research and Education, then you're gonna click All Databases. And I like to go Resources A to Z, Quick Links. Scroll down, doo -doo -doo. and there is Little Pim. So you would click on that. And you do need Flash to be installed on your computer in order to access Little Pim. Then you would choose your language. But before I choose our language, I'm going to show you what I think is a slightly easier way to access Little Pim. If you go to elibrary.einetwork.net, that takes you to that same e-resource page without having to go to the Cooper Siegel website in order to access it. So we're still going to go to resources A to Z and scroll down to Little Pim. Good. So Little Pim offers Russian. Arabic, Mandarin Chinese, uh, ESL for Spanish speakers, French, German, Hebrew, Italian, Japanese, and Latin American Spanish. So we are going to go ahead and click on the Spanish uh, module, um, since I feel like that's a language that a lot of people are interested in learning right now. There are 20 episodes in a volume, uh, which is considered to be like the, the language um, so you can see there are different subjects, eating and drinking, waking up smiling, and playtime. We're going to pick eating and drinking. And then there are several episodes within that, that module. Each episode is about four and a half to five minutes long, and it introduces different vocabulary words. Let's check out episode one. Hola, yo me llamo Pequeño Pin. Soy un panda. ¿Dónde está mi bolsa? Mi bolsa. Ah, mi bolsa. <ríe> Ahí está. Mmm, qué bueno está. El bambú. Yo como bambú. ¿Y tú qué comes? Yo como una manzana. Una manzana. Una manzana. Una manzana. Yo como manzanas. Las manzanas. So as you can see, um, it's an immersive experience. There's no English in the videos. Um, and the dialogue that you've seen, Little Pim introduces himself, he says his name, he explains that he's a panda, he looks for his bag, and then he says that he's going to eat some apples. And then we repeat the word apple multiple times. They have video imagery of real children eating apples of different colors, red apples, green apples, etc. There are also practice cards you can play. So we'll have three images so you can practice the vocabulary. So it's asking me what la leche is. Is it a banana? Is it an apple? Is it milk? The answer is milk. I'm gonna click on that. Pim's gonna do his happy dance. And we're gonna get another set of free images and a vocabulary word. So while we are watching Little Pam videos with children at home, you might be asking yourself, why do I want to introduce 
a young child to a language that I might not speak at home? And there are several answers. Um, a major reason is because our brain plasticity diminishes as we age. So it's easier to learn a foreign language when you are a small child, as opposed to being a grown up. As someone who has studied multiple languages, I can attest that this is indeed true. Trying to learn a language at 34 is much more difficult than trying to learn a language when you're a child, when you're in high school, when you're in college, etc. So the way that the brain parses out language, like the sounds that we hear, changes as we age. So very small children are able to hear those sounds and understand what they mean with more simplicity than an adult would, trying to memorize the sounds and the patterns and the grammar and all of that. So language acquisition is more natural. We also know that exposing someone to multiple languages increases brain cognition, even if it's not a language that you're speaking like routinely at home. When you're practicing, when you're watching the Little Pim videos, say the words aloud, repeat them with your child, point out the, the images on the screen. If Little Pim says, la manzana, point to la manzana, maybe also say an apple. So we're practicing both our, our native language if you speak English at home and whatever language you are learning in this case. Spanish. So as I mentioned, each episode is about five minutes long. Um, Little Pim's founders recommend that for toddlers, for very young children, that you watch maybe two episodes two to three times a week. For older, like elementary age children, watch an entire volume and, and practice that vocabulary at home. You can use the, the practice modules that, that I demonstrated with the, the multiple choice or you can also um, create your own little flashcards at home, depending on how involved you want to be with this language process. So it's never been easier to learn a foreign language or to introduce a child to a foreign language. You don't have to sp spend uh, several easy payments of $29.99 like we did on Muzzy. All you need is your library card and some time. So I hope that you will take advantage of Little Pim and hopefully learn a little bit of a foreign language. No, I don't think anyone's expecting you to become fluent from, from either of these apps, but it is a great introduction to foreign language skills. We'll see you next week. Have a great day.